Hello there and good early morning from the Magic Kingdom. We are finally back after about a three month hiatus to the Magic Kingdom. It's about 7.30 in the morning. The park opens in 30 minutes. It has been a while since I've been to Magic Kingdom this early in the morning but I am excited to be here. Did not think this was gonna happen and we made it work out, right? We did. So we're gonna start off the day with some breakfast, hopefully, in Fantasyland at the Friar's Nook. They have breakfast sandwiches and tater tots. That sounds like a pretty fun way to start the morning, right? And we've made it through security. I think we're gonna head over to the monorail to get to Magic Kingdom, which opens up in about 15 minutes. The boat is always an option as well, but there doesn't really seem to be much of a line for the monorail, so we're gonna go ahead and take that. I don't really see the buses going, so I think this is our best option. All right, so we just pulled out of the Transportation and Ticket Center. There's the Foundation of the Grand Floridian right over there, and we are heading to Magic Kingdom. Okay, so we made it to the Contemporary. We passed by the bus depot. Here's the back check. We're sitting on the Seven Seas <laughs> facing side of Monorail, so there's not really a beautiful reveal of the castle, but it's still pretty cool. It looks like the train station is still under construction. Way over there. Wow, right now it feels incredible. It's still before eight o'clock in the morning, so we're getting here right at park opening, and it feels great. Okay, so now it's time to head through the ticketing area here, scanning on in, and heading into Magic Kingdom for the first time in months. Yay, thank you so much. We did it. I used Magic Mobile to get into Magic Kingdom. It was great! <laughs> okay, you ready to head back to the Friars Nook and have some breakfast? Yes. And of course, who is here to welcome us into Magic Kingdom other than Mickey Mouse himself, Pluto, Minnie Mouse, Donald and Daisy. I've missed this. So the castle looks a little bit different than the last time we were here. Oh my god, it feels like when we went to Disneyland for the first time and saw the castle. <laughs> it's beautiful! Look it's at all of those so decorations cute. for the 50th anniversary. Okay, let's head to Friar's Nook. <laughs> right now the confectionery is undergoing some construction over there, but look at this reveal of Main Street at eight o'clock in the morning. The park literally just opened. So this is our first time back in Magic Kingdom without wearing masks too, since they lifted the outdoor mask mandate, which feels really, really nice to see how excited everybody else is getting to go to Magic Kingdom. It's really nice. It's been about a year, almost a year, since we've been wearing masks to the theme parks here in Central Florida. Brennan's getting a picture of the castle and all of the <laughs> decorations that have been added since we've been here last. All of the ribbons around the turrets up there and then the, the banners, all the jewel decorations. So the Friar's Nook is right on the other side of the castle over by the carousel, kind of near Winnie the Pooh over there. I'm pretty excited because they do have breakfast. They actually have breakfast sandwiches and little miniature donuts. So we are gonna have a pretty good breakfast today. I think we did come to Magic Kingdom before to have some breakfast back at Gaston's Tavern, but I think this is gonna be more of a breakfast than a massive cinnamon roll, right? Yeah, and you know what? We're gonna ride the people mover today. Yeah, we are. So this is the Friar's Nook. Maybe there is the carousel and this is what they have here. They have a breakfast sandwich with bacon, egg, and cheddar served on a multi-grain croissant with tater bites. And then they have sausage and gravy tater bites with some cinnamon sugar donuts. And we got a couple sandwiches and we got some donuts too. And the order is ready for pickup right now. Here's Brennan at a table, saving us a spot right next to the carousel. And how is this for a Magic Kingdom breakfast? Oh, you got the sandwich too. Yeah, got a couple sandwiches, some donuts, some gravy there. Wow. And orange juice. I don't think I've had breakfast at the Magic Kingdom since when we had breakfast at, um, Oh my goodness, what is it called? Guest on Tavern? Yeah, no. Be our guest. That is what Brennan was talking about a second ago. But we just finished up with breakfast, and I think the first ride that we're going to do today is going to be the carousel, because how iconic. Okay, so this is the row we were assigned. Hello. Do you want to watch this struggle? Do I want to watch you struggle? Every day. You can do it. You did it. So I realized I have not shown myself yet in the video, so hello. <laughs> Sorry, I had to fix my posture. The posture on this one will, will get you for sure. So I'm excited to ride this. This has kind of consistently had a pretty long wait time. I think they're starting to fill more rows and more horses. But we're going to start today on the carousel. Yay! I'm intimidated. She's like a lot taller than me right now. And here we are riding Prince Charming Regal Carousel. 
which is the official name of it. This is great, right? Uh, it feels so nice to be back, and it feels great to be back in the morning. Like, no one's angry yet, it's not hot. Like, everyone's calm, I'm calm. Breakfast <laughs> this morning was incredible, and just listening to the music of Fantasyland yeah. while in the shade, where there's nobody here, it's great. Okay, so the carousel just stops. And now, because you struggle getting on, I can struggle getting off. <laughs> and he stuck the dismount! Okay, so now I think we are heading over to Haunted Mansion to go ahead and do that on our way over to Frontierland, probably. Just wanted to take in the park in the early hours of the morning before it gets uh, busy, which is probably gonna happen pretty quickly, but... We got here pretty early, so I'm proud of us. Looks like they redid the pavement over here by Peter Pan's flight. There's still a scrim over there. Doesn't look like there's a line outside over here by It's Small World, so that's nice. It opens this area up a little bit more, even though this is still a pretty tight pinch point right here. There's Small World right there. Here's the other side of the scrim right here. And as we head over to Haunted Mansion, I wanted to stop by the Tangled restrooms because in the early morning, these are really, really nice compared to how they're probably going to be a little bit later today. Yeah. It looks like they added to the mural over here by the women's restroom, but just how pleasant and relaxing is it over here right now? It's a little bit backlit. Yeah, right? They extended this all the way to the ground, so that's pretty cool. Okay, ready to go to Haunted Mansion? I'm ready. Okay, actually first I wanted to come inside this area in here, which is currently a stroller parking area, it looks like. It's but there are this is like an eating area. Yeah, I was going to say there are tables here. This is like a relaxation area where you can usually charge your phones and, and these stumps right here. But this is also cool. This is where you can find hidden Pascals, which is hard to do during the day because there are so many strollers all over the place. It says, look for friends of Pascal and the scenery hidden among all the flowers and greenery. So there are 10 different hidden Pascals in this area along the little river down here, the little brook. I think up here as well. I think back over here by the bathroom too. I think there's even one on top of this post. So there are a lot of little Pascals and it's always fun to walk around and try to find them. Okay, but now we are heading over to Haunted Mansion to go and ride that while it's still a hopefully pretty minimal wait time because this one gets pretty long. It backs up all the way to the, the riverboat I've, I've heard. Okay, it's only a 10 minute wait currently to head inside the Haunted Mansion. We are still wearing our facial coverings, by the way. As of right now, facial coverings are still required while in line, indoors on attractions, in gift shops and restaurants, those kind of locations. But otherwise, you can take them off outside and it is quite a welcome change, I think. We're bypassing the extended queue, I know, right? Just heading straight inside the Haunted Mansion. Yep, we walk straight to the loading platform for Haunted Mansion. This is awesome. I'm gonna go and ride this and then continue on to our next ride of the day. So the line for Peter Pan's flight still comes down to Columbia Harbor House right down here, which I would love to get the Columbia Harbor House food today, maybe if we're still here okay. around lunchtime, which would be over in the Tomorrowland Terrace, I'm pretty positive. Okay. Still. Would you want to do the riverboats? Maybe. At some point? I have like a, a couple things that I really want to hit up today, and then we'll, we'll see where time takes us. I definitely want to do Tom Sawyer Island at some point. Mm -hmm. That opens up a little bit later on in the day, but I think we're heading to... Uh, Big Thunder Mountain. Okay, we're heading through Liberty Square, which is a little bit quieter. I'm curious to see what it looks like all the way back in Frontierland if the crowds have made it back there quite yet. It's about 9 o'clock now, so the park has been open for a full hour, and we've ridden a few rides, had some breakfast. It's been a great morning. Yeah, it looks really quiet back over here. Splash Mountain gets especially busy, especially this time of year when it gets pretty hot. Water is since they like replaced it. Like you can actually see the track inside the water. Well, that's cool. Imagine once the uh, the rafts of Tom Sawyer Island start up, you may not be able to see that much anymore. Maybe. Once it gets kind of disturbed. 
I just keep getting distracted by it. It's cool. I've never seen like the bottom of this river before. So it looks like Splash Mountain is currently down. I don't see any logs or water coming down the, the hill right over there. So I guess they haven't opened up Splash Mountain yet for the day, but I definitely know that Big Thunder is open. So it looks like this is the end of the line for Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Splash Mountain is currently down. So it's only 20 minute wait. But I guess we'll see. Okay, we are moving here pretty quickly. This is the part of the mask mandate, which I'm a little bit unsure about right now, is when you're supposed to put on the mask when you actually get in line versus an indoor portion of the line. Okay, this is pretty cool. We're going up into the train station as part of the queue for Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. This is neat. Okay, we're going up the stairs. Here, I really do miss the railroad. I hope that comes back soon. Maybe that's what they're working on the, uh, the train station for at the front of the park. There's the extended line for Big Thunder Mountain. And here we are, just heading right back down the ramp. It looks like they're asking people to put on the masks at the entrance of the ride, where it actually says Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. So that's probably the standard throughout the park, is either indoors or at the very entrance of the ride where the wait time sign is. I think that only took a couple minutes to make it inside the legitimate line for Big Thunder Mountain. From here, it's probably only about 10 minutes or so, so we're probably only gonna wait 20 minutes, if that. We've been constantly moving through this line down to the load station. So this has been pretty nice. We have not stopped at all. The plexiglass dividers are still very much so in effect here in the lines at Walt Disney World. I don't know how much longer they're going to be used or the ground markings, but it's going to be fun to look back on in the future and see how it compares from what it is now to what it will be at some point, hopefully in the near future. Okay, and about 15 minutes later, we made it down to the loading platform for Big Thunder Mountain. Well, that was great. We pretty much did not stop walking at all until literally this point right here. Okay, here we go. First time on Big Thunder Mountain. Quite a while. Woo! Woo! Oh. I missed the train so much. Silhouetted in the distance. There it goes. And here we go. Woo! Woo! Ah! Renee, do you think you will ever get a Disneyland person with a dynamite from the sea? Do you think we're gonna get it? Get what? The dynamite! Oh, maybe. You make it so easy to have a conversation with you. On a roller coaster, that's the best time to have a conversation. <laughs> there goes the river boats. We came up to Nugget Way over here to get a cool picture, maskless, over by Big Thunder Mountain by the geyser here. Did you want to do Splash Mountain today or did you want to pass on that? I don't want to pass. I kind of want to do Pirates. Okay. Okay, so Splash Mountain is still closed, so that wasn't even an option if we wanted to ride it today. So off to Pirates of the Caribbean we go. They still have not announced an official refurbishment time frame that they're looking at to transition from that into the Princess and the Frog overlay, I'm presuming, after the 50th anniversary, but that's kind of speculative. So we wanted to ride this the last time that we were here with my family, but the line was very, very long, so we opted to go ahead and skip it, but I think it seems pretty manageable right now. It's not going down to Jungle Cruise, at least. 45 minute wait, how do you feel? I feel good. Okay. Let's do it. Okay, so the line starts back here, next to Pirates of the Caribbean, next to what used to be the Pirates Adventure interactive game, which I hope that comes back. I feel like this is gonna take about 20 minutes, maybe 25. That's gonna be my my estimates for how long we end up waiting because we've been moving pretty quickly. I'm very excited to see these plexiglass barriers. Hopefully at some point go away soon because they're not my favorite. They're a little bit cramped and claustrophobia inducing. I think they worked well for the time that they had them, but I'd love it to be a little bit more open. This is pretty cool, so they're using the old fast pass line as part of the standby line. So we come inside, go back outside, and then come back inside again. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes, so it might take a little bit longer than I thought to get to the loading platform, but it's still moving very, very fast. Next to Peter Pan's flights, I have probably the most nostalgia for Pirates of the Caribbean. I remember riding this and being very, very scared when I was younger, but I got a sword at the end of the ride, so it was completely worth it. I still have that sword. You know what? I take it back. Maybe it will take only about 20, 
25 minutes because the loading platform is pretty much right around the corner. Okay, we made it on to our pirate boat. Our pirate boat. Time to go on an adventure. It's our, really bumpy. Our pirate adventure. <laughs> So this is actually a little bit sad. The sword that I was talking about earlier, they don't have anymore. There's this sword, which is pretty new to me. The skeleton on the hilt, which looks pretty cool. And then it looks like a... What was that? Textured. Oh yeah. There's a matching scimitar right over here. A tiny little one, which is also pretty cool. But they don't have the sword that I'm used to, or the scimitar that I've seen them sell for years, which is a little bit sad. So that did only take about 25 minutes to get onto the boat. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Yeah, so I guess I was right in my my postulate about our waiting experience. What a word. Right? Bringing out the big vocabulary <laughs> today. So I think we're going to head over to Tomorrowland because we got to do the people mover. A Dole Whip for on the way there? Yes. Okay. Wow, stroller parking is quite a situation over here for Jungle Cruise, which is currently undergoing uh, quite a refurbishment. So that would be actually pretty interesting to ride again at some point. Here's the Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse. The line for Jungle Cruise starts right back here. But we're heading over to our, well, Vernon's already beat me over there, but we're heading to Sunshine Tree Terrace to get our little floats to share, probably. So this is Sunshine Tree Terrace, and here we are going to be getting the I Lava You Float. With Dole Whip, Orange with Fanta, Strawberry and Red Passion Fruit Syrup topped with Popping Candy. I haven't had this one before. This one sounds awesome. Ooh, look at this. That looks awesome. Have we shown off this mural yet over here? It's so cute. It really is. Look at that. <laughs> okay, so we're going to share this. Yes. We probably wanted to walk over with this too. Tomorrowland. Now I kind of want to stand right here. Probably gonna melt, so yeah. we should work on it. Right <laughs> okay, so Brennan's gonna be the first one to try it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is amazing. Right? <gasps> you know Orange what it Fanta like? with passion fruit. It tastes like fruit gushers. Really? <laughs> That's interesting. How's the uh, the popping candy on top? It's okay. I'm not like. A super fan of the popping cane. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> um, I mean, it's fun. Okay, so you said this tastes like gushers. <laughs> okay. Or like a fruit roll up. I can kind of see that. It's some sort of nostalgic flavor. I like that, and I love the pop rocks. I love pop rocks. <laughs> I like a little surprise. Oh, that's fun. I like this. This is incredibly refreshing. That Fanta, probably my favorite part. They have a lot of different kinds of Dole Whip around Magic Kingdom, and they switch them out pretty consistently, I think. I just, I am. This one's good. I'm a fan of tropical flavors. So, like, tropical drinks, tropical, like, desserts, tropical ice cream. Like, I love that flavor. It's good. All right, so we found a little spot in the shade over here to finish the rest of our. Dull Whip, but we are on our way over to Tomorrowland, I think, just to head straight over to the People Mover. And then probably Space Mountain. And then I'd love to do one of either Buzz Lightyear's Space Ranger Spin, or Astro Orbiter, or the Tomorrowland Speedway. Okay. Or maybe all of them. We'll see. <laughs> that was probably the best Dull Whip that I've had at Disney. I think it's my favorite. Really? I loved it. I love the Peter Pan float as well, but then that one was just, it was perfect. It was just the ideal amount of fruity, wasn't too tart like the regular 
Dole Whip is. Heading back across the Cobb area over to Tomorrowland for Space Mountain and People Mover. Maybe lunch at Tomorrowland Terrace right over there. You see the People Mover, Vernon? Of course, it's all I've been staring at. Are you excited? I miss, I miss you. <laughs> this is gonna be so cool. <laughs> we haven't ridden this in a year and a half at least because it was closed before the pandemic closed the park back in March of last year. So this is pretty crazy. It looks like they're getting ready to redo the pavement over here in Tomorrowland because it's all cut up here. So that'll be interesting to see what comes to the pavement here in the future. Okay, we are in line for the people mover. Gonna get a beautiful aerial perspective of Tomorrowland here in Magic Kingdom and it seems like the line is pretty non-existent. Brendan is ready to go. So according to this sign, we're about to board a gleaming Metro liner enjoy a scenic tour of Tomorrowland. I had never really noticed or thought about before the little cars that we're about to uh, get in. These are called Metro Liners. Okay, here we are on board the People the Mover. We invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy your tour I know the Brendan is so happy right now getting to ride this again for the first time in so long. The line was actually not that bad at all. It's about 11 o'clock in the morning. Now, so we've been here for about three hours. I've missed these views so much. Getting to really take in all the sights of the theme park. It's just it's so cool. Ooh, that's gonna have a long line over there for Space Ranger Spin. I almost forgot the name of it. This is also pretty cool. The sign for Monster Seat and Flat Floor is back. They took that away for a while, now it's back. So let's get a nice view of the castle from this side. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. There's the cosmic rays. At the Tomorrowland Speedway, the Tomorrowland. from the pedal to the metal, speed it's speed right towards here. the chip. There's Astral Orbiter way over there. Ooh, you can get a nice view of the, uh, I guess it's still considered construction for Tron. And there it is. That is what Tron currently looks like. Not a lot in terms of what I anticipated, but they seem to have finished this, uh, this cover out here on the track. Covering the track, so we just went into Space Mountain, and it sounded like it was down, but I don't think it was because the lights weren't on. But there were definitely no trains running. It was just kind of awkwardly quiet. It certainly looks down though. Right now, there's nobody going in, so I guess it's not currently operating. Or maybe it's about to. Maybe the park is just in time. So we're over by the Carousel of Progress right now. I'd like to think that maybe we actually would get lucky over at. Space Mountain with a reopening because it looked like it was pretty much ready to go with the exception of just people on it. There's another look at the castle as we turn the corner as and conclude our end to our trip our here aboard the People Mover above Tomorrowland. Buzz Lightyear is only a 20 minute wait right now, but I think I want to head over to Space Mountain just to see if we can get lucky with that and getting to ride it as soon as it reopens. I could be totally wrong with this, but it would be really cool to be in front of Space Mountain why does they reopen the ride? That would be awesome. So on second thought, it probably won't reopen here soon. Maybe we're seeing it as it's actually closing instead of reopening. What did you think of the people mover getting to ride that for the first time in a while? That was nice. It, I missed it a lot. I don't know why I love the people mover so much. I just do. And then that like made it feel like, you know, things aren't so bad anymore. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is ride the Astro Orbiter because it's been a minute since we've ridden this. I don't know where Brennan's going because the line starts over here. Let's wait to see if she figures it out. What did I do? <laughs> I don't know, Brennan. So I did go up and I did ask, and they haven't even opened it all today. So I'll just keep checking on the Disney Experience app, I guess. My Disney Experience. Okay, so this is supposed to be a 35 minute wait. It's been about 20 minutes or so, which hasn't been bad, but it has been really, really hot in the sun. But we just made it into the shade. So we can Relax a little bit. And here we are finally in the elevator. It took about 20 minutes, so it wasn't too bad. Now we're about to ride the Astro Orbiter, right? Yeah. Yay. Am I going to sit in front no. or behind? Behind. Why can't we ride in front? <laughs> You'll squish me. What are you trying to say? <laughs> I'm small. Okay, time to document the stressful process of getting in <laughs> this vehicle. Do you want to go first? I guess that's a yes. Yeah. Okay, now I get in. Attention, all pilots. Okay, now we have to try to finagle down and I'll try not to film your butt. Sorry. Okay, so Brennan's down. Oh, I'm scooting down. Oh no, I'm sorry. We did it. Okay, so we've taken off. Woohoo! 
I am getting dizzy already. We're all the way at the top right now. There's fantasy land and Space Mountain and the Contemporary and Tomorrowland. Woo! Are we coming down? Ah, this is intense. Did you bring us all the way down here? I did. Oh, nice. Wow, we are we are cruising pretty low. Uh, this is the fast part. <laughs> That was beautiful. And now the attempt to get out. That was your butt, I'm sorry. Okay, here we go. And success. Well, that was fun. Is Space Mountain open yet? I don't think so. Nope, it is not. Okay, so I think we're heading probably back over to Tom Sawyer Island, I think, because that's open now. So we're going to go back over to Frontierland to go to Tom Sawyer Island. We'll see if Space Mountain opens up at some point today. But if not, then I guess we can't really do anything about it, right? If it never even opened in the first place. Okay, so I stopped by the launching pad to get some water for myself and Brennan, and then I looked up, and Space Mountain literally just reopened. It's a 10 minute wait by now, and everybody just walked in. So we timed that perfectly, yes! There's nobody in line right now at all. We are just walking directly for the loading platform. We're gonna do the alpha side. It looks like we're gonna be row one and row two. It is noon on the dots right now. We are running space down after just a five minute walk through the queue. Okay, here we are. Ooh, it was blurry there for a second. You can kind of see behind or on the other side of Vernon's head. Okay, I'll see you in just a minute after we ride Space Mountain. Okay, so that was pretty cool. We get to ride at Space Mountain and the people mover was down, which is kind of funny because when we rode people mover, Space Mountain was down. But we got to ride at Space Mountain with the people mover lights on. So we could sort of see where we were going because of the silhouettes of the track because the lights were on on the people mover car. That was really, really cool. Wasn't that awesome? Probably the closest that I've ever gotten to riding Space Mountain with the lights on. And here we are back outside in the hot sun of Central Florida. Brendan is fixing her hair after riding a roller coaster in the front row. Stop. <laughs> There's the wall right behind you leading. To, uh, to Tron, which hopefully at some point will open up. It doesn't look like it's ready anytime soon. Who knows? So I've talked a little bit about mask procedures today because I think it's going to be interesting to look back and see what these specific policies being implemented are compared to what they're going to be in the future because right now they're going to be changing very drastically, very fast and rapidly. So today it was announced that starting tomorrow, May 29th, this is probably going to be uploaded a little bit in the future, but starting on May 29th, Face coverings are no longer required for fully vaccinated guests indoors or outdoors at Universal Orlando. So if you go for SeaWorld, we do not require proof of vaccinations and guests who are not fully vaccinated are still expected to wear facial coverings while indoors. So that is what's going on over Universal. I anticipate something similar to happen here at Disney, but I guess we'll see. But as far as what's going to be happening in the very near future, it's, it's happening right now. So the people mover was down, but it looks like they are cycling it empty up there so it looks like we got on that just in time as well as Space Mountain because look at the line for Space Mountain right now. Wow Brennan we are lucking out today pretty well. Really good day. Okay so I think we're gonna finish walking through Tomorrowland here and maybe head around New Fantasyland back there just to do a full lap around Magic Kingdom because we haven't been here in so long together. This is the line for Seven Doors Mine Train which goes all the way back there, pretty much across from Storybook Circus. So that's not as bad as it could be, honestly. I think the last activity today is gonna to be Tom Sawyer Island, and then maybe Tomorrowland Terrace on our way out of the park for some lunch. We'll see what the wait time looks like over here for Journey of the Little Mermaid. Okay, so it's posting a 20 minute wait, which is not that bad, but I think we're gonna to go to Gaston's Tavern and maybe grab a water or a LeFou's brew because it is, again, so incredibly hot today. Brennan, are you gonna get a LeFou's brew or are you just feeling a water? I was hoping to maybe share like a little bit of the Lafouze brew and then I'll get a water. You want my Lafouze brew? <laughs> Just to see so Lafouze brew is $5.79. It is a frozen minimade apple juice with a hint of toasted marshmallow and topped with fruit flavored foam. I know that I've said that before, but I have to remind myself every time what Lafouze brew is because I never remember. <laughs> so, Brenda got a couple cups of water over here to try to stay hydrated and of course here's my LeFou's brew which Brennan and I will be splitting probably on our way over to Tomster Island, right? Yeah. Cool. We're kind of in the corner of uh, Gaston's Tavern over here. It's, it's pretty nice. 
probably gets done. Probably get a little mad. So I feel very fortunate that myself and Brennan could come today because as far as availability of park reservations and walkouts, it's been really complicated to be able to come here at all. And we were able to make it work. This is one of Brennan's final days before her last walkouts, and I was able to get a special ticket for myself just to be able to go today. So we're just really trying to make sure that we take advantage of it as much as possible and do everything that we really wanted to do, at least right now, just ride people mover again, just see the decorations on the castle, just make a full lap around the park, go to Tom's for Ireland, and eat it tomorrow in Terrace, just all of those really important bucket list things that we wanted to do today. I think that we're pretty good. I did everything I wanted to do today. Yeah. I know that I didn't want to leave until I rode the people mover. Um, I, I know that, I don't know. <laughs> I wanted to ride it too, because I missed it. Lot, so now we gotta do your main bucket list thing and that's yes. Tom Sawyer Island. We're gonna finish up here and head to Tom Sawyer Island. Here comes my train. It's always fun. See, don't think we're gonna do that today, but there's a lot that we're saving for next time, which is always important. Mm -hmm. Splash Mountain, Journey of the Little Mermaid, Seven Doors Mine Train. So you wanna cut through your Payne's flight and it's a small world to get back to Frontierland? Is that the quickest way probably? Uh, I guess so. Yeah. It's right there. It's interesting how long it's taking to do this project over here because they redid the, the pavement over here where there used to be the cobblestone drain and now it's just pavement. So I wonder what this is going to look like once they uh, complete this project over here. It's a little bit busier over here right now compared to right as the park opened. Over in this area, let's see if I can find one of the Pascals. Yep, there we go, right over there, there's one of them. There's Haunted Mansion and we are continuing on to Frontierland. So right now we're crossing over the Little Mississippi, which is this tiny little creek right here which separates Frontierland with Liberty Square, which means we're now in Frontierland, heading up back over to the rafts right over there for Tom Sawyer Island. Oh, little ducklings! Where? Hello, little ducklings. So it looks like Splash Mountain is open again. Like I said, we'll probably save this for next time. I'm sure the wait time right now is Pretty gargantuan. And here we are, back at the dock for Tom Sawyer Island, and there's pretty much no line at all, which is awesome. And here we are on the raft. We waited just a couple minutes to make it onto the raft over to Tom Sawyer Island. Hooray! And here we are pulling up to the dock on the other side. And then we'll be able to get off and explore Tom Sawyer Island. So I think we're just going to take a lap around the island here, then probably hop back on the raft to take it back over to the mainland to then end the day with lunch at Tomorrowland Terrace. Oops, I almost <laughs> tripped. It is nice to be without a mask. It really is. Which way do you want to go? Let's go through this cave. Okay. We're going into the cave? Actually, no. Let's go here. Okay. It's nice to know the <laughs> There we go. Let's go this way. Have it on this. In a little while. If I could just make videos just silently walking around Tom Story Island, just taking in the ambiance with the very subtle sounds of the theme park. Watch your step right off here. the distance. I didn't see that. I expect a trip all the time. It's pretty dark in here. Do you remember when we played hide and seek and this is where I hid from you? Yeah. That was a lot of fun. That was one of my more favorite videos. It was videos. really fun, but I felt so bad for like when we were hiding in the caves and it was just like scaring people every time they would turn around the corner and I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm just standing here. That was fun though. I, <laughs> I want to redo that. That was for Attractions Magazine. And then we ended up doing it with Kelly and Jorge too, right? Yeah. That was fun. I know that I mention this every time that I come, but one of these days I just want to bring a picnic basket Basket. And just fill it with little sandwiches <laughs> from Subway, and some chips, oh. and some soda, and some snacks, oh, and just really like enjoy Tom Sawyer Island, right? There are so many people that have yet to come to Tom Sawyer Island, and I have no idea why. If you come to Walt Disney World and you just have never made time to come to Tom Sawyer Island, you have to. It is so much fun. Don't you think it's fun? Is it fun, or is it like beautiful? or scenic, or a nice relaxing area. It's all of that, <laughs> right? I think it's fun. Wow, you can really see the track from up here. See, it's not just me. Like, it's actually like extra clear. Bernard has been obsessing with that track <laughs> all day. There's the Haunted Mansion, and right in front of us, the Barrel Bridge. The Barrel Bridge is 
back. It's finally back. Do you want to do that? It just happened. That's the bridge over to Fort Langhorn right there. But there's the track for the Liberty Bell Riverboat. And there's Haunted Mansion looking uh, pretty busy currently. But do you want to do the barrel bridge? Did you know you could see the track in the water? I had no idea, Brennan. Thank you for informing me. You're welcome. Okay, so here we go. Yeah. Heading across the barrel bridge. This feels very, very new. And it looks like it too compared to what it used to be. So I think once we cross over the bridge here, really mess up someone's probably we're gonna head over to the, the fort, Fort Langhorn. Okay, backtracking over to Fort Langhorn. This could mess up your ankles here a little bit, this like incline, this slant right here. Look at that, look how pretty that bridge is right now. All right, off to the port. There goes the river boats right there, scooting over to the ports. I don't think we're going to spend a lot of time in the fort because we have spent a good amount of time here recently in the past year or so. So we're just going to walk in, enjoy ourselves, and then head back to the uh, to the raft, whatever that means. And there it is, Fort Langhorn. Did you miss it? Yeah. Oh, What's I your could... favorite part about Fort Langhorn? Probably the secret path leading out. Really? The, the tunnel? Yeah. The escape tunnel? It's just like really narrow and like spooky and what a lot of saying? the time you can't know that it's there. I was just hearing the parade all the way in the, oh, yeah. the distance. The cavalcade? Who knows how much longer those are going to be a thing either, right? Maybe we'll start getting parades back. And here we are on the second level of Fort Langhorn here, which is nice and in the shade, very relaxing and fun, I think. I always like it over here because with all the trees and stuff, it just reminds me of like my backyard and my neighborhood growing up. Really? Yeah. Cool. The escape tunnel is right underneath this, which is probably the method that we're going to be using to get out of here. These are some bathrooms over here that not a lot of people know about, which makes them some of the best bathrooms in Walt Disney World, I think. And they're air conditioned. There goes the river boats. Way over there, Brennan's heading down to the escape tunnel. Way back over here is Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. You can kind of see through the trees. But we are using the escape tunnel. Oh no, there goes Brennan. There's the entrance to the escape tunnel right there. It's pretty dark in here. Okay. The camera has adjusted. Brennan. Yeah? Where are you? I'm over here. That's very vague. Where's over here? Hello? Hi. Oh jeez, that scared me. <laughs> it's a little bit cooler in here, but not by much. It's still a little bit stuffy. And then... It's not the best place for a claustrophobia though. Yeah, it's very, very tight. Especially over here at the exit out. See, I bumped my arms and I'm keeping them as close to my body as possible. But hey. We made it out of the escape tunnel, we escaped. So I think we should reward ourselves with some seafood over at Tomorrowland Terrace. How does that sound? That sounds great. How convenient, we <laughs> wanted to go there anyway. The Liberty Bell over there just made a full trip around the island. So I guess we've been here around half an hour or so, maybe a little bit less. We'll have to save the caves for our next trip, right? Huh? We'll have to save the caves for our next trip here. Hashtag next trip. I hope Brennan actually wants Tomorrowland Terrace because I've just been Assuming that we're going to be going there because it's the most unique food option here in Magic Kingdom. If you compare you have it to really good lobster rolls. well, yeah, if you compare it to Cosmic Rays <laughs> and Pecos Bill and Pinocchio's Village House, I think it's the most unique menu. Okay, so we are on the raft back to the mainland. There's Big Thunder Mountain. There's the other launch right over there. And Brennan, I don't know if you can see it or if you knew this, but you can sort of see the track in the water right there for the riverboat. Put your mask on. What are you doing? We're passing over it right now. Well, this is cool. Never gotten that perspective. Not before. It's always been there, but I never actually gotten to see it and go over top of it. You know what I'm talking about, right? I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> I can't hear you over in Jinjo. You're lucky. Hi. Hi. So we just got off the raft. Big Thunder Mountain say 15 minute wait right now. Splash Mountain, what a Splash Mountain. It's definitely open, but the line goes all the way back here. Let's see, what kind of a, well that's for Big Thunder Mountain. Splash Mountain is a 60 minute wait. Woo. Space Mountain was a 75 minute wait when we got off of it. Did you know that? It was? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, and we got on in like really five minutes. Lucky with all the wait times. Today. I know, I don't want to jinx it, but I'm pretty happy about it. Big Al! Big Al! Hi, Big Al! <laughs> and Liver Lips. <laughs> I definitely do want to see their show, but probably have to wait for uh, again for next time, right? We just got hit with a bird. 
Yeah, we were passing Splash Mountain and a big old duck. Bird just, just hit me in the back of the us. head, and then it like hit you in the side of the neck. I was terrified for a split second. I thought I was getting assaulted. I was like, what did I do? But it was a duck. So I think we pretty much made a full lap around the park for the most part, just getting to really, really cover the entirety of Magic Kingdom, which was nice. That was a big goal of mine, which was just to, to be here and to walk around, you know? So real quick before heading over to Tomorrowland Terrace, I wanted to get a different perspective of the castle over here by Sleepy Hollow with the banners and the ribbons, the gold trim, the iridescent turrets, the rose gold. This castle looks very, very gorgeous. All of the jewels. I'm excited for the 50th. I do not know whatsoever if I'll be able to get into any park for the 50th anniversary, but if I can, That'll be fun. Okay, so we made it to the hub. The Tomorrowland Terrace restaurant is straight ahead. I put in a mobile order for the both of us. Brennan is gonna get a lobster roll and then I'm gonna get a shrimp platter. I do love the lobster roll, but I wanted something a little bit different this time. And check it out. There's Brennan's lobster roll, which looks pretty generous. You know, it's a little bit blurry. I have my shrimp here, which is very nice. A bunch of fries. Brennan got some fries as well. And I got some water. All right, so Brennan got us a pretty nice spot over here by the water and in the shade, so that's pretty cool. We're gonna go and enjoy all of our food here and then head on out, right? Yeah, I think we've had a great thing. Over there is the galactic purple wall. This is kind of cool, you can see the, uh, the paint starting to peel back. So you can see the red from the previous paint job for the rocks here at the entrance of Tomorrowland. That's where we just ate right over there, kind of on the water. And I'm heading back over to the castle real quick. I'm not sure about the next time that I'm gonna be able to come to Magic Kingdom just to really appreciate these decorations on the castle so I just wanted to run over here one last time just to check them out just to see what they look like right up close and they are honestly absolutely beautiful I think they're still gonna put a 50th logo right here on the clock in front of the tower or right underneath it but they're pretty much done and ready for the 50th celebration this year. Okay, I'm gonna go through the castle and then go back down this pathway right over here. The other side of the castle looks pretty identical to this, but this is really cool getting to get this close to these decorations. And honestly, they look awesome. This is pretty interesting. Usually, this is a very popular area over here by the Wishing Well, but here's one last look at the castle with the decorations on it before I head back over to meet up with Brennan. It looks beautiful. Until next time, Cinderella Castle, I hope I see you soon. And I'm very excited for the 50th anniversary this year. It's gonna be fun. Okay, I caught back up with Brennan. Hello. Hi. Did you have a good day today? I did, I had a great day. And it wasn't as busy as I thought it was gonna be for Memorial Weekend. That's true, it is Memorial Weekend, the weekend that we're here. It's, uh, it's probably gonna be a little bit after that when I post this, but it's, it's gonna be a pretty busy weekend this weekend. I'm not really sure when we're gonna be able to come back to Magic Kingdom, but at least we got a trip in today, right? Yeah, we'll be back soon. I hope so. <laughs> but we got to do it. We got to ride all the rides that we wanted to ride. Yeah, this is a great day today. Like, I, nothing to complain about. So yet again, my camera decided to make it to the very final clip of the video, but we're heading out anyway, so it's okay. I think I, the sun's been getting two batteries. I think so. I brought two extra batteries today, but I mean, we were here a long time, honestly. Mm -hmm. We got here before opening, which was over six hours ago. Yeah. And that is a memory <laughs> that I'm gonna remember for a long time. That was just a beautiful morning. Just getting to have breakfast and ride on a few rides. I love that. We got to do, again, everything that we wanted to do today. We got to eat at a lot of places that we've been wanting to eat at for a while. We got a lot of treats and snacks. We just heard the monorail honk. <laughs> All around a great day. It was a little bit hot today, but I think, I think it was absolutely worth that's, it. That was the only thing worth complaining about, is just the heat. And even that, it's just like, we're going home. Like, now that it's getting, like, in the heat of the day, we're good. Yep. And it's park hopping hours now, so a lot of people are coming into the park. Mm -hmm. So I guess we're heading out. Yeah. So we'll see you soon. Thank you for hanging out with us today. Magic Kingdom, walking around, maskless. It's getting a little close to normal, right? Yeah. And by the time I post this, there's probably going to be a lot new information to come out about all of this, but day by day, right? We'll see you soon. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and goodbye. Bye.